just south of Vernon, Manitoba with a big time tornado here. Just cross the road, hit a farm. We're gonna go back to the farm to make sure they're okay. As soon as it crosses here, it gets clear of the house. Major tornado here, south of Vernon, Manitoba. Time is 6, 8.07 p.m. Central Time. Wow, incredible tornado. Oh my God. The 2020 was a tough year for tornado chasing. It peaked early. I saw a very nice uh, nocturnal tornado in March. Big and tornado! I saw a couple of weak tornadoes early in April. And then in late April, we had the, the Springer Oklahoma tornadoes. And those were uh, photogenic tornadoes. And then, you know, expectation is normally that May is going to be the month. You know, you're going to see all kinds of tornadoes every state every storm is going to be you know potentially a tornado producer uh, august 7 2020 was a textbook example of how quickly uh, a storm can go from being pretty much nothing just an updraft that updraft starts rotating and then you get a tornado and it was quick and within uh, 15 minutes this, the storm evolved so here we are we're in scarth manitoba i just arrived here on the scene of where the Scarth Manitoba tornado happened is one of the most remarkable tornadoes ever. Definitely a Canadian tornado ever, but even maybe of all tornadoes, some of the, one of the most you know photogenic. It was so carved out, so visible. Uh, it's just a crazy tornado, a remarkable tornado. All right, we're getting to our first location to where we stopped. So we initially passed the farm before the storm was ever producing a tornado, or is even tornado warm. As we were approaching, we could see it right out here to the to the to our west, a couple of miles. You could see a beautiful updraft starting to form, and I know exactly where we stopped because I see there's some dead trees here that I thought might make a good foreground initially. It all started on August 7, 2020, approximately 7:40 40 p.m. Central Time. We noticed big updrafts fire here that were merging into the parent storm. It was just to our northwest here. So we decided to stop here because it looked like we that merger would take up. place. We're and I was rising. expecting that yeah. merger to actually Moments create a strong tornado. supercell, potentially guys. a tornadic supercell. And sure enough, that's what happens. So about 7.47 p.m. Central Time from this location is where I turned on our 360 camera. Started ca capturing 360 footage of the whole event. It's done merging too, it's just gonna do it, it's gonna come together, I might produce, I still wanna do it. <laughs> Seven forty-seven p.m. Central Time is approximately the time we first tweeted out that it looked like the storm be tornadic. We wanted to get the word out to the public so they could take cover to ECCC to help with the warning system and get the warnings out. People take those warnings seriously. So about seven fifty p.m. Central Time, I turned the Subaru around. I say we needed to face the Subaru south because it looked like it come, could come through this location. Uh, we probably wouldn't would need to get to a little bit to the south to stay safe from the tornado. Seven fifty p.m. Central Time. Seven fifty-five p.m. Central Time. We decided to creep the vehicle up a little bit closer to the to the farm here that's back behind me and to the south to get a better look to where I figured the the rotation may appear on the ground first, and that's where we first saw right here. It looked like a cloud of smoke. You can see the swirling, and that's when the first sign of a tornado actually was right at about seven fifty-five p.m. Central Time. We tweeted out tornado on the ground at that point. Take the situation seriously. That's a tornado.
7.57 p.m. Central Time, we began to see this grove of trees get ripped up by the tornado, it began to strengthen, funnel cloud began to descend down to the ground, not fully condensed yet, but this, ha, there was a roar, it sounded like a waterfall out here, trees ripping up, it was quite a remarkable, exhilarating, intense situation out at this point, 7.57 p.m. Central Time. CDT, the funnel began to descend down and fully condense. It became obvious that the farmhouse here would be hit by the tornado. Debris started raining down on us. We had grasses that were falling down from the sky. So it was obvious that it was a strong tornado. I was lofting debris up into the sky, swirling it around a couple hundred yards away from where the actual funnel cloud itself it was descending down and touching the ground.
Thank you.